Why is uh, Wyclef Jean and Sean Penn having some kind of a debate about Wyclef wanted to be Haitian president? He's running for president. Yeah, but but it's it just said versus Sean Penn, and Sean Penn was talking. Sean Penn now looks like a fucking politician. Well, Sean Penn uh, got caught recently. I was I was reading what would Tyler Durden do dot com, and supposedly he's trying to have the world believe that he's been living in Haiti ever since the earthquake. Oh, really? And then they caught him at some kind of surfing competition. He's not really Whoa. in Haiti. And... But it's like, who cares what Sean Penn thinks? What, what he's a that? brilliant actor, but who gives a fuck about his opinion? People hey. seem to care. What is this? Do we uh, have Sam? Sam? What? Sean Penn. Uh, what? What about Sean Penn? What are you talking about? Class. Is that what he's talking about? Yeah, right there, and you just brought it in that fast? That's right. That's a little Fucking weird. A, man. Oh. Yes! <laughs> Wyclef and Sean, Sean Penn. Penn. Apparently, Sean Penn's got a problem with Wyclef. So why doesn't Sean Penn try to become the president of Haiti if he cares white. so much? Sean Penn is worried about Wyclef being opportunistic. Oh, unlike <laughs> Sean... him with the shotgun in L Louisiana. Yeah. The last thing in the world Haiti needs, and I'm not accusing Wyclef Jean of being an opportunist. I don't know the man. But I think it's extremely important that we pay great attention to both the individuals in the United States who are enamored with him, maybe not for his uh, political strengths, and in particular for corporate interests that are enamored, enamored with him, and those that may themselves be opportunists on the back of the Haitian people. Right now, I worry that this is a campaign that... Excuse um, me, could you pause that for one second? And because people like know who Wyclef is, which again... Uh -huh. As opposed to why we're all listening to you right now? Yeah. You asshole. Like the same reason you get to hang out with Hugo Chavez, who is a cunt. See, but what Wycliffe is saying is <laughs> this Haiti place hear. is messed up. <laughs> and unless we get a president down there that knows what he's doing, then we'll just be bogus too. <laughs> eh? You think he hates that he made that movie? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes. When you I, listen I, to it, it's just pompous rambling like this, you know it's just like I, everyone's going, hey, what's Spicoli? I hear he doesn't even want to acknowledge he ever made that movie. Ah, oh, fuck him. He's been a real twat about that movie ever eh. since. No clean water, no infrastructure, <laughs> no service. Listen oh, in the game. Hey, bud. Let's party. Why don't you get a job, Spicoli? What for? You need money. Uh, all I need is some tasty waves, cool buzz, and I'm fine. I'm so wasted! Why do you shamelessly waste my time like this? Hey, can you hear the sound of the stereo? Oh no! <laughs> do you have a guy like me in class every year? You know, a guy who you make an example of? You'll find out next year. You dick! <laughs> You worked at All American Burger. <laughs> oh, I love that one. Uh, uh, I do. Danger is my business. <laughs> Spicoli. My brother's gonna shit. Make up your mind, dude. Is he gonna shit or is he gonna kill us? First he's gonna shit, then he's gonna kill us. Oh, no. What is this stuff? Doesn't that stuff cause brain damage? <laughs> Only if you take it like every day for a month. Bitch. Salt. Bitch. Yeah, every salt. White guy with the gun. Even back then. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Alright, Hamilton. Alright, Hamilton. I got a Fuck, man. One of the greatest movie characters ever. And he Very just turns funny. out to be a douche. And he just won't acknowledge and that. And he doesn't want to acknowledge it. Yeah. And if you can find some info on that, he doesn't. They do reunions and this and that, and he doesn't want to be part of any of it. Just learn about Haiti, eating some food. But, <laughs> but didn't Spicoli allowed him to do so much more in Hollywood oh, yeah, without yeah. that big hit? That was it. The next one was uh, Bad Boys, the one with the jail. Right. Yeah. We would be listening every, to Sean Penn on CNN today. Everything after that was like a traumatic role. Right. Yeah. Of the Haitian people. Right now, I worry Same that this is Haitian. a campaign that um, is more about a vision of flying around the world, talking to people. I haven't seen or heard anything of him in these last six months that I've been in Haiti. You worked on the Fugees. <laughs> <laughs> Everything he said was That's basically... Oh, okay. Okay. 
And then what? Well, we got some Wyclef. Wyclef now? No, no, no. That's another guy who's against Wyclef. His former band member, Praz. Praz has a problem with him? Has also decided, what, yes. What's the beef? Well, I think the beef is mainly that the Fugees were Lauryn Hill, who went on to be extremely successful in her solo co career. Yeah. Wyclef, who went on to be extremely successful in his solo career. Ah. And then there was Praz, who had Ghetto Superstar. Praz. What? What? It's on Ghetto Superstar from the movie Bullworth. That was Praz's last hit. He's like the Chris Novoselic right. of the Fugees. Just, Who's that? Uh, exactly. 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 <laughs> He's in Nirvana, right? Yeah. yeah. The one that didn't move on after the death of Kurt yeah. Cobain. Yeah. Is he still rich, you think? Oh, yeah. I'm yeah, sure I'm they sure. still make a few bucks. He does politics in Washington. Yeah, he's, oh, really? He's oh. another one? Yeah, he Boring. Went, yeah, he's he's a politician. I would just, if I was running against him, I would just play the clip of him throwing his base up in the air and having <laughs> it hit his head. Over and over again. Over and over and go, is this the guy you want? Well, let's listen. Wow, he does. Oh, my God. Look at him. Damn. What the fuck? He'd Jeez, fuck you Kurt, up. Kurt did the right thing. Yeah. Blowing his brains out. Kurt's a legend. <laughs> this guy's just an old fucking... Dick. <laughs> Asshole now. He's a dick. <laughs> he had like one band after Nirvana, and they released yeah. one album, he's, and that was it. He's probably a nice guy. I don't know. know. He always came off as such an asshole. Really? <laughs> wow. Was he pulling like a comb over back in the 90s? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. He started was he? early. Wow. Sure. Like, find a 90s picture. Yeah, he kind of like was doing some, some swooping. Find him playing. Was that was the swooping? guy in Nirvana. He did a little swooping. It. Yeah, he was swooping. Let's see if he's swooping. It's, long, uh, it's a little wispy, uh, you know. a little wispy in the front, but wow, God, that shit was a long time ago. All right, let's not think about it. <laughs> it's damn depressing for everybody. Yeah, there's a swoop thing going there's on. A swoop going. Yeah, Good Dave Grohl. He invented the Fucking Justin genius. Bieber back in '94. <laughs> he had the Bieber going. <laughs> Did the Bieber? Uh, I love when I see guys who are like in their early twenties. <laughs> I'm just kidding. That <laughs> rules. That rules. <laughs> We're all just silent that waiting rules. for <laughs> waiting for your next word. All uh, right, here's a pros. No, yeah. no, guys with their early twenties with the hair comb forward, and you know that they're fighting premature oh, baldness. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. so awful. You just they know got that new style, 30. so you don't know what right. you know what they're doing with that. Everything he said was basically just broad strokes, general, you know, plans or general ideas that he had. I didn't get a sense like this is someone that's going to really take Haiti and really take it to the 21st century. Oh, really? It would have been easier for me to just say, I support Wyclef, you know, but I just don't support his policies. I don't see anything. For me, it's not about me. It's not about Wyclef. It's not about a sense of entitlement. It's about the people, because at the end of the day, Wyclef get on his private jet. Flies back to the state, Praz get on his commercial flight, flies back to the state, and we go to our homes. But the people still gotta live in it. Pause right there. Could you? Re I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. Could you rewind the last thirty seconds of that, yeah. and you could see the whole clip was thirty seconds. No, the last. Says. Okay, the last ten seconds. <laughs> you can hear the bitterness. Yeah. When he talks people, about the travel the day, arrangements. Myself get on his private jet. Flies back to the state. Pros get on his commercial flight. Flies back to the That's state. Uh, we go to our homes. get on his private jet. Fly back. Pros so, get on his commercial flight. <laughs> I, I, I got on coach. Got made a couple of stops and shit. Uh, so it has nothing to do with his no. politics. You just don't like the guy. And how about uh, somebody to bring fucking Haiti into the 18th century first? <laughs> how about you start slow? Slow down a little oh, bit. Oh my god, it's like playing civilizations. You can't go right to the fucking 21st century. One century at a time. Yeah, kind of jump ahead. Slow too, down too quickly.